Some heated exchanges this morning among members of Penn State's Board of Trustees as the board held a special meeting. Talk about the fate of the fine that Penn State's paying as a result of the Jerry Sandusky sex abuse scandal. And while Penn State continues to promote its let's move on theme, it was obvious board members differ on how best to do that. And with more on that, Gary Sinderson is in the Center County Newsroom tonight. Gary. Marty, this was a heated, tense meeting this morning among the Board of Trustees. In recent years, fueled by the Sandusky scandal, new members have joined the board, mainly those supported by the alumni. And today, that group had a far different view on how the university should proceed in dealing with the NCAA and future action. But in the end, they were outvoted by other board members who decided to have the university continue to comply with the NCAA sanctions and consent decree. It was a conference call meeting for the trustees with most of the alumni representative trustees holding a public session. They were pushing for much stronger resolution than trustee leadership on the NCAA and the consent decree that leveled the $60 million fine against Penn State along with limiting football scholarships and a ban on bowl games. They said the hastily called meeting by leadership with no agenda only had a proposed resolution posted late yesterday. We, we could have pressed the issue of not having an agenda. Oh, absolutely. Well, we didn't because we knew what the outcome would be here today. But in the end, there really wasn't an interest in, in trying to find a, a middle ground. They came in with a, with a baked resolution and baked votes. The alumni back trustees were pushing to dismiss the consent decree. We disagree on the consent decree, and we disagree on the free report. And, you know, some of us are having the guts to, we all want to move forward. People talk about moving forward. I want to move forward with guts and determination. But their alternative resolution never made it to the floor for a vote. We asked one of its backers about it possibly upsetting the NCAA even further. The NCAA wants this resolved. It's got, it's got big issues, not, and not just with us. It's got them all across the country. It's, you know, it, to me, it went, it went after us in a big way to demonstrate it had strength while the rest of the country is beginning to wonder about its relevance. Whether they're upset or not is not, 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 a, not, not really an issue for me. I the board resolution was about a lawsuit involving Governor Corbett and other state leaders against the NCAA. The governor telling us he'll stand by the board decision. I'm not a voting member of the board. We've changed that. So whatever the board is, as a whole is uh, comfortable with, I'm going to be comfortable with. That decision in a 19 to 8 vote by the board was to back negotiations to keep Penn State's fine money in state and to continue to comply with the NCAA sanctions. This was the first of two special meetings this week for Penn State's Board of Trustees. They'll meet again on Friday to talk about proposed reforms. There were a number of former Penn State football players at the meeting this morning. Among them, Franco Harris. We'll talk to him coming up at 6. We're live in Center County. Gary Sanderson, 6 News.